Hello everybody, welcome to the algorithm course. In this video, I'm going to discuss the way to do the bucket sort process. First, we need to put some numbers into a number of buckets of fixed intervals. And then we sort the numbers stored in each of the buckets. Finally, we just list out the sorted elements out of each bucket. Let us see an example. Suppose we want to sort out these numbers. We have 8 numbers here. Suppose we want to do the bucket sort with 5 buckets. We have to think about the interval for each bucket. We can see that the largest value of the numbers to be sorted is close to 50. So it is possible that we can make use of an interval of 10 to store the elements in each bucket. So it just means that we do division of 50 by 5 to get 10, being the interval of each bucket. Now we have 5 buckets, each of which has an interval of 10. So we have 5 buckets with indices 0 to 4. And then let us see how we can put the numbers into each of the buckets. Now we want to handle the first element. In order to determine the index of the bucket, we can do the division as follows. We divide the element by the interval size. And then we just take an integer part of the result. So in this case, 2 divided by 10 gives me 0 0.2, but when, when I just take the integer part, I just take 0. So a value of 2 goes to index 0, so it is put inside the first bucket. Then we try to handle another value, which is 15. So 15 divided by 10 is equal to 1.5, but when we just take the integer part of it, I will get 1. So number 15 goes to index 1. Now we handle 35. So 35 divided by 10 is 3.5, but when I just take the in integer part, I will simply get 3. So 35 goes to bucket index 3. Now we handle the fourth element, which is 21. 21 divided by 10 is 2.1, but when we just take the integer part, I will get 2. So I just put 21 to bucket index number 2 which allows me to handle the elements in the range between 20 and 29. Now we handle the fifth element, which is 27. 27 divided by 10 gives me 2.7, but I just take the integer part so that I will get 2. So I just put 27 to index number 2, which allows me to handle the numbers between 20 and 29. How about 49? 49 is put to index 4 because the integer value of 49 divided by 10 gives me 4. So I just put 49 to bucket index number 4, which handles the numbers in the range between 40 and 49. For 42, I want to put this element to index 4 because 42 divided by 10 gives me 4.2, but the integer part of it is simply equal to 4. Okay, the final value is simply 13. So I just put 13 to index number 1, because 13 divided by 10 gives me 1.3. But when I just take the integer part, I would just get 1. So index number 1 just handles the numbers between 10 and 19. Okay, now we just handle the sorting of the elements in each of the buckets. For bucket index 0, there is only one element in this bucket. So it is obvious that the element is already sorted inside this bucket. Okay, for index number 1, we see that this bucket has two elements, and we can try to apply the insertion sort process to sort the numbers inside bucket index number 1. So we see that 13 is smaller than 15, so in this case I can do the insertion sort so that 13 comes before 15. Okay, after the sorting, 13 is now before 15. And then we go to the next bucket, which stores 21 and 27. When we want to apply the insertion sort process, we see that 27 is already larger than 21, so the latter element is already larger than the former element. In this case, no insertion sort is needed. Okay, when we go to the next bucket, we see that there is only one element inside this bucket, so the element is already sorted in this bucket. Now we go to the final bucket, which is having an index of 4. There are two elements in this bucket, so we can try to do the insertion sort. 
And now we see that 42 is actually smaller than 49. So it should go before 49. And then I can simply do the insertion sort to move 42 before 49 in order to complete the insertion sort process. Okay, now we see that all the bucket elements are already sorted inside each of the buckets. And finally, we just list out all the elements stored in each of the buckets from index 0 to index 4. And we just follow the order contained in each of the buckets. So in this case, we can already list out all the numbers in ascending order 2, 13, 15, 21, 27, 35, 42, and 49 finally. In this case, we can say that the sorting process is now complete. Thank you for walking through the algorithm with me. If you have any questions about my video, please feel free to leave your comments on the comment section below the video. If you like this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.